Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Phoenix in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending this in. Uh, it's on behalf of their friend so we're going to go ahead and see what uh, those guys have prepared for us. So let's go to subscribe. There it is. It's this system here. The names and pronunciations in this one I know are going to be trouble. So I'll try my best. As you can see <laughs> the names here already. I'm going to have a hard time, so I do apologise. And also, apologies if my voice sounds a little off. I do have a bit of a bad throat at the moment, so I do apologise if I'm sounding like I'm half uh, half dead on the inside in this one. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into this. So, the first of the objects that we got, uh, the star down here. Okay, so these are a pair of systems in the desolate colliding galaxies known as the Eagle Galaxies by a Konglangla friend of mine who goes by Sk Garg on Discord. <laughs> I'm, I do apologise, I'm going to butcher all of this. Uh, these two systems are the nearest pair of inhabited systems in the galaxies, with most of the others being blasted uh, sterile by intense radiation um, from young blue giants or the central black holes. Sorry for the weird names there from his uh, colangs. Right, so, Gano here. So that is the, I'm guessing that's this system. Um, consists of an iron rich trinary of a rapidly spinning white main sequence star, which is this one. Um, the orange dwarf Gore, which is there, um, or is it over there? Is that, is that over there? That one's Ga. I think that's it, yeah. Gore. I think it's just the accents on the Z there. Um, and rapidly spinning uh, brown dwarf Ogre, which is there. Okay, cool. Home star of the wormhole uh, capable. Okay, cool. Right, so first of the planets is this one here. So Ken. Right, let's see what this one has. A heavily ra radiated Mars-sized planet without any moons. And its outer neighbour, Gifu, are similar airless worlds. Okay, so let's go to Gifu, which is the next one. So another heavily irradiated Mars-sized planet. So there it is there. Quite a cool surface section on that one, actually. Nice. Looking good. Next up, we have Rado. Rado. A desert planet that serves as the outpost in Null's system. Very nice. So there it is there. Looking good. Pick up this one as well. Very nice. Uh, next up we got these guys over here. This is a barrier sensor, so that is these two. Win Fehu and Win Ur, I guess. So both of these. A binary pair of twin Mars like worlds. Both are being used for mining and manufacturing. Okay. That's both of those guys. Looking good. Alright, next up we have got these guys. Ur uh, and. Or oh, Os. Next that is. These guys over here, I'm guessing. Okay, that is it. So. Or are we? Um, a massive binary of a super Jupiter and a Saturn, each with their own moons and a second binary moon. Okay, so interesting. Let's go through the moons. Got some inhabitants on that one. So a Jupiter and a Saturn like together. Very interesting. Okay, so this one's probably the Saturn being slightly less massive, and then it's got a moon that orbits both of them in the Barry Center. So interesting. There it is. Looking good. Cool. Interesting. So moving on. Next up we have got this one, Fawn over here. Named Your Ten. By the however you say that. <laughs> um it is a planet with a massive ring system and massive moons. That is a big rings. Um okay. Let's so on to the moons. They all are there. Oh it's got some city lights on that one. Let's have a look. Very nice, okay. Looking good. Got these guys as well. All the traditional looking rockies. This one looks like it has a methane ocean. I'm guessing. Let's have a look. It I'm guessing it is. Liquid, yeah, it is. Methane ocean. Very cool. Nice, nice. Got this one over here as well. Last of the moons. Cool. Alright, so now we're heading to the next star. What's this one here? What's that? 
over here. Barry Center. Oh, I'm guessing that's between the two stars. Yeah, it must be between those guys. Uh, right, so over here. So we got this star now. For the, uh... Right, there we are. So first of the planets, we've got Ken here. A hot barren dwarf planet roasted. Okay. Next up, we got a um, Rado over here. A warm but nonetheless Mars-like world. Okay, interesting. So I've had Ken twice because the first star had an object called Ken as well. Interesting. Okay. Where are we? So yeah. Okay. Says so that one. Next up, we got sh this one called Koju or Show, which is here. A Jupiter-sized world with several moons, including Navi's Oort, which is captured into a retrograde orbit around it. Then we have... I, I don't even know what those symbols are. I have to say those of anything. So, okay. Homeworld of the something. <laughs> it has two Trojans, an asteroid. So that's these guys, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And the dwarf planet Fawn in its five point. Okay. So we've got Oot over here as well. Looks to be an almost hatable moon, actually. There it is. There you go. Nice. Looking good. And I'm guessing this is the... Where's the one called Fawn? That one. So that's the dwarf planet in the same orbit, roughly. Okay. Nice. Cool. And then you have this one as well, which is also sitting in the similar orbit. Very nice. Right, next up, we've got Fawn over here. An ice giant which migrated inwards with a dentering system and several moons. Okay. I think we've seen the colour theme of grey in here so far. There's a lot of greys. So you're receiving light from both stars at once. There you go. Cool. Right, next up, we've got this one. So a slightly larger gas giant, similar to Fawn. Okay, again. Very greyish in colour. as a moon. Ooh, what was that we missed one? Uh, got this one as well. There it is. And we've got a barrier center over here. So who is in here? So we've got Gifu. A dwarf planet with a large moon. So we've got Gifu and Gifu 1. There you go. Nice. Okay. Right, and then moving on to the next set. So now we're going to the brown dwarf over here. So it's a binary. Okay. So, I'm not going to attempt to say that, but its name translates to Stargate Station 8 and is a massive port settlement. Okay. Cool. Then we've got the moon here. Oh, I say the moon, the planet. If you count that as a star, this is technically a planet. So, there it is. Okay. Nice. So, Fehu. So, that's the one named Stargate Station 8. Okay. Nice. Right, so moving on. So, now we've got the Kika. Is that Kika? K Kika? Yeah. Right, so where, where's that then? So we're zooming really far out now, I'm guessing. Where, where, okay. Aha. Right. Let's have a look-see over here. So a whole other system chilling in here. Okay, there's a binary here. All right, so the star itself. F-type star of nine planets in this system, or is the system, the home system of the uh, Migang Kizans. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> right, first up, we have... Oh, here's some... Okay, so we've got some coloured stuff now. A green hot Neptune. Interesting colour choice. Okay, green. Uh, next up we've got B. A dark hot Jupiter with an Io-like moon. I'm guessing that's this one. Back to the greys. There it is. There's the moon. Okay. Next up we've got this one here. Object E. Hot desert planet used as a mining production world. Very nice. Then we have D over here. Small high scene world that also is a mining production world. Very nice. Thick atmosphere on there. Let's have a little peek. There it is. All ocean underneath, pretty much. Okay. Very nice. There's a moon as well. Looking good. Right, so we're going over here to the Barry Center next. So we've got the one with that really strange Inke. Is that, is that this one? So this one here. Home world of the... Um, the civilization it has a large binary companion similar to Mars, and the duo orbit are another. Okay, orbit one another. So there you go. And then there 
is the moon. So very similar to a Mars-like look alike. Yeah, it's very similar to Mars colour-wise, isn't it? There you go. Next up, we have F over here. A Tundra Super F with three moons currently being terraformed. Okay. Little ring system going on as well. There's its moons. Okay. Good, good. Next up, we've got H over here. An ice planet that, unlike most of the rest of the system, has been mostly left alone. Yeah, peace and quiet over here. Okay. There's those guys. Very nice. Uh, next up, we've got this one over here. G. Looking good. Alright, so this one. A classical... Uh, a Classical gas giant with a spectacular ring system, except it's tipped on its side, so you've got a Uranus kind of look to it. They are here. Got more of a uh, Titan kind of design here. Thicker atmosphere, very nice. And lastly, we have I. There's one more moon as well. So, last of the planets, we have I over here. With a Uranus kind of looking blue. Classical ice giant that has captured a Pluto like dwarf as a moon, just like Neptune has. Okay. There they all are there. I'm guessing... There you go. Okay, cool. And that does it for this system. Right, so, get the line up here. I want to see, actually, the average colours in here, because they're all very grey, a lot of them, aren't they? Uh, radius. So let's have, a, let's have a good look. So, got the regular gas giants here. I'll see the typical brownish sort of colour you'd expect. You got very, this one was quite dark. Got the uh, ice giants in there. So you got those four are quite similar. There's the uh, brown dwarf. Got the green, that's trying to got the blues, the yellow, the white, and then also the rockies. You can see, uh, yeah, the grey is definitely the most prominent colour out of a lot of these. Obviously, some of them have got earth like conditions. They also got the methane one that's pretty, that's probably the most unique of the bunch. And then there's a lot of greys in here, uh, the brown, cream colours. So, there you go. There's one of the earth likes again. Cool. But there we go. So, that does it for this system. So, again, a massive thank you to the creators. So, it was a Phoenix, and then it was on behalf of his friends. So, thank you to those guys for sending this one in appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed it as well let me know what you think down below in the comments everybody if you like this video let's see if we go for 100 likes on it and also subscribe for more help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers everyone but yeah that will send done make sure you guys all have a great day out there stay safe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye